Are we live? Yeah, we're live. All right, welcome to the Stella Berry Show. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> I have my two production assistants with me. Don't mind them. Just tune them out. Happy Please. To. We have to work weekends here. We're just here to help. We're just happy to be here. Happy Pride. Yeah, it's Pride Month. Alex, I know it's a big... I don't support the gays. <laughs> we have one token gay I here. only have sex with them. Not anymore, because <laughs> I'm not really allowed to for work, but... <laughs> You have sex with women and gays? No, well, I'm not allowed to have. don't respect. I'm not allowed, I can't really have sex with the gay people anymore. No. Are you sad about but that? But see, when I have sex with women, I, as a gay person myself, that counts as gay sex, kind of. You're right. That's yeah. super gay of see you. I did that. Any sex that you have I is just, gay. I just, there's not that many. I stopped doing stuff with guys like probably seven years ago because I was. You know, I was trying. I was starting to do videos with girls more, I was making my own videos, and then still filming stuff with guys made that more complicated because a lot of agents that will book you ladies to film with, they don't like it when you're kind of a homo because they're afraid that you're going to give everybody AIDS, even though you know I get tested all the time like everybody else, but. Is that just because of the general assumption or whatever that well, gay people have lots of sex off? Nick, bring up, pull up the CDC uh, facts. Let's take a look at the real evidence here. Uh, yeah, the op- a lot of people are always shocked by this, actually, that you the, can't well, do see, gay the thing stuff is the, and straight stuff at the same time. Yeah, it does seem um, very, not very progressive of the porn Because women obviously are allowed to do gay stuff. Yeah, well, because women are allowed to do whatever they want. Because <laughs> Very true. Very, yeah. very true. I like people watching it be like, I don't know what direction this is going in. Do they love gay people? Do they are they homophobic? Why though? For all the well, people. Well, because out there. see, well, the thing is, and a lot of it's kind of fucked up, but then there's also some butt sex between two dudes is kind of the riskiest, you know, is the highest the transmission highest, rate. The highest transmission rate of the house in Virginia. If you want to buy a house in Virginia, have you butt do sex butt with sex with men. That's, yeah. I'd love to have a house in Virginia. Maybe you'll get one soon. That'd be amazing. I love the weather up there. <laughs> it's nice. I've heard it's great. But, like, you know, now it's like, it's not the only way you can get it, obviously. Um, you know, you can do fentanyl, and you might also get a house in Virginia. Mm-hmm. But, <clears throat> or I mean, there's other, you know, and there are other sexual contacts, of course, but that's just, it is a little more, like, easily transmissible that way, so... And that's the thing. Any STD testing, even though it's gotten pretty good, the stuff that, that we use, like, there's like that, you know, you could you could get, you could buy a house in Virginia on Tuesday, get tested on Wednesday, mm-hmm. and they might not know that you got the house in Virginia. Doesn't house, <laughs> how, is it house in Virginia? Yeah. Doesn't house in Virginia, it could take a month or two even to show up? See, I've heard, I've heard that. Now, some people, like, apparently, like, you really don't know. If I got a house in Virginia, <laughs> would you still love me? As a friend, yeah. <laughs> if I was a well, I've, I've always heard that, like, friend, yeah. it normally takes a month to close on a property. I see. Like, Especially it could be. I feel like, I've, I feel like, well, see, the other thing with it, anecdotally, is somebody who doesn't really know anything about what they're talking about. I feel like <laughs> that you probably really couldn't transmit it. You couldn't transfer the title for the house in Virginia un- until it was like showing up on the I test. I feel like that anecdotally might be wrong, but wait, it might be right. Wait, we're not talking about real estate, are we? You sure we are. <laughs> well, see, well, the one thing, the big thing is like there was a push a few years back with like some of the LA uh, porn people, the LA cringe porn people, like the, um, uh, what do they call it? Like the, the FSC people and, um, so, like they were trying to get people with AIDS to fucking be able to film with anybody. You know, you're some 18 year old uh, young lady from Iowa coming down here to Florida or whatever to do some some pornos, and they want some you know six year old guy with full blown AIDS to be able to film with you. Why? Because he just takes meds. To- well, because it's kind of like not very progressive of you to say that he can't have sex with. Wait, young is that lady. actually a real thing they're trying to? Well, do? no. Well, it's not. It, it's like if you're like undetectable. Oh, they wanted to like, like to basically, basically, yeah, like, well, basically, like, if you're kind of, if you, because you, if you can test for the House of Virginia test, you know, like, 
it can show up as not like you can actually have it and it not show up. Yeah. If your levels or your like whatever, like you are take so low. the pills yeah. for it every day and shit. Yeah. You suppress it. Yeah. But the thing is, to me, from what the, my other anecdotal research is that that's contingent on like what <laughs> you go on a five day meth run, maybe your immune system's a little compromised. Uh. After you've been tested, not show, you know, so. It's a little risky. I don't think it's the best idea to own a house in Virginia or have full-blown AIDS or whatever, whatnot, and uh, film with people that don't. I know that's. I don't think that's a troublesome. I <laughs> think that's a, I know it's a controversial take. <laughs> Some LA people might not like that. I feel like if you get a house in Virginia while you do porn, you can just start making solo content. You'll probably survive just fine, right? Or, well, do with other, or is there a whole community of people with houses in Virginia that yes, make porn together? Yes. Really? Have you ever heard of, uh, this is good, the viewers out there, you might want to check out um, Treasure Island Media. There's a lot of, all house in Virginia owners getting together. Is that a fetish for some people? Oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so it's if I get like house in Virginia ever, episode. I have yeah, somewhere is, I can go. Yeah. yeah. You can fuck a bunch of it's, gay men. You can fist called, gay men in San Francisco for Treasure they Island call Media. It, they call it Your the life get, doesn't end after you get a house in Virginia. No, just it just gets begins. more boring. <laughs> they call it the gift. Actually, it's way more exciting. Yeah, way they, more exciting. They call it the gift. They yeah, that's called when your the life gift. Begins. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole that's a bit fetish for years in the gay community. See, that's the thing. The gays, listen, as as one of you, I got a lot of problems with you people to be honest. <laughs> There's a lot of things that issues that why some people have some issues with with some of the gays, you know. Fetishizing AIDS. That's something that some people might not think is cool. There's a lot of gay guys that do that. I support whatever <laughs> you guys support. I and think hey, it's fucking I'm not cool. here to tell you to not do that. I'm just saying maybe that's maybe not the best thing to do. people are going to judge you. As, as someone who works for, for Stella Berry, uh, I say cancel him. Cancel him. This is a Pride Month episode. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> cancel the gay. Yeah. We don't care about his opinion. Uh, we don't want to hear I'm from like gays. The, we don't want the gays Objectively, the like, the gayest guy here, and I'm just, like, no, shitting all over speak. gay people. God. You're the only gay. <laughs> let him speak. But she's an honorary gay man. Yeah, she kind of is. Because of her she, butthole activities. Yeah, because she likes butt stuff. Yeah, but you teach me. I'm still being mentored by you. you yeah. Teach me so you're like Yo you're like Yoda, community. and she's like Luke Skywalker. And it's like, listen, gay guys out there. Uh, you know, and, and when I say gay, get the gays or whatever, I'm talking about men, the women, gay women don't like really exist. I don't want to no, hear they're just, women. I've, they're just women. Watch, you make out with a hot girl once in a while. I watch where you're walking, listen, buddy. Listen, and there's like 15 real lesbians left in this whole fucking country, you know? Yeah. So it's like, and I suppose And we cool, want to meet you. But, <laughs> you know, gay guys, you know what you guys do. You you know the kind of activities you're involved in a lot of you, and Wait, you could, I know. and it's a free country, guys. Everybody can do whatever they want, but like, there's some very risky activities going, and that's and to me, honestly, that's the biggest reason why I haven't done stuff with guys in a long Is time. Is it like how they do blind orgies and they yes, all just like show yes, up and they fuck just, each other? Yes, they just hang out behind a fucking gas station and they got eighteen guys fuck each other in the ass. Or like when they just like go on grinder <laughs> no and yes. leave their front door open and blindfold themselves and lay on the bed and just let people come in and fuck them. Yes. <laughs> Now, not everybody's doing that. If I was a gay man, I would be doing that because I'm not, unfortunately. I'm just saying those activities are not uncommon. Yeah. Which can lead to some issues. Yeah. I'm not so saying don't do that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that there's things to consider. So that being said, do to you where it's miss like you can participating just be in the gay community? I mean, some, you know, sometimes, once in a while. I just like... I've always been like more straight and it's hard to believe, but it's, there's, it's more time. Sometimes I'll be watching, you know, I'll be, I'll be relaxing, having a little wank, having a little goon sesh by myself. And I'll be watching like sissy hypno trainer porn. Just so like, or I'm like, you know, Bukaki compilation. There's like eight fat cocks just stroking it on some 18 year old girl's face. And I'm like, man, I wish I was a girl a little bit. Is that gay? I don't know. You tell me. Uh. <laughs> That's like exactly what I have, but the opposite. <laughs> Where I'll watch gay porn and I'll be like, wow, I wish I was a man. Yeah. Sometimes. I'll watch gay porn once in a while too. Myself. <laughs> Maybe we're both going to transition. <laughs> Happy is, Pride Month, everybody. I like how, as the fake producer of this nightmare, <laughs> We're sitting here and we're like, all right, what do we want it to be about? And we're like, fucking nothing. And you're like, well, maybe we give some advice on how to get into the porn business. Or, how, you know, can you do it? And immediately just. It's Pride bu Month. Bug chasing, giving the gift. Am I gay for wanting to get bukkake on? Just absolute 
I want. I want to see him do so much more gay stuff. Schizophrenia. We should just do it off camera. Well, no, you can't do that. Well, is it? Well, see, so Are I, you allowed to do off camera gay stuff? Well, I can do whatever I want. It's just I'm a man of integrity. So it's like if I'm, I'm not gonna like secretly do gay stuff. Because you don't want to get camera. me in your house in Virginia. Yeah, yeah. It's it, well, that's, that's the thing to me. That's the, that's the problem though to me. It's just like if I started hooking up with guys here and there, just whatever. I I blindfold myself and put my ass up in my living room and I post a thing on Grinder or whatever and guys come over and rail me out. I have a great time, whatever. Everybody has fun. I would be too stressed out about it. Ruining wouldn't be your worth career. it. It wouldn't be worth yeah. Yeah. To worth it, to risk buying a house in Virginia is like not. No. Now some people say like Alex, just take fucking what's the shit called? The, prep? Yeah, get on prep. Like yeah, fucking, but that fucks with your liver real bad. I've heard different yeah, and things. And his liver's already fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, from years and years of <laughs> absolute just degenerate alcoholism. I just the thing is, it's just it's just easier mm. for me and my business to just fuck hot chicks when you don't have to it's work anymore. What a shame when you don't have to fuck girls like as a business. You can get a house in Virginia and no one will care. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. So you gotta have things to look forward to in life. Yeah, you have stages. Yeah, he's still young. He seems See, extremely when old, I get but much richer. Young. And then I want to get much better shape. I got to start taking TRT and HGH and yeah. get like ripped old man with a yacht. Then I'll get super gay. But I have to get it's to that stage so in my life. He's going to be so hot. He's going to have a Speedo. I want to let everybody know I'm here. Surrounded by I, little twinks. I'm here against my will. Um, they both have guns on me. You just don't see them off camera. And, and honestly, my thing is Don't be like, so anti-gay. I'm, an, I'm, I'm anti-everything. No one should be allowed to have sex with anyone. Does this weird you out? No, gay not really. <laughs> no. I wish I was gay. Women are hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like if you're if you're gay, yeah, you just get on grinder. Isn't asexual part of the LGBTQ? I guess plus? I'm not really. I'm like a fake asexual. Yeah, whatever. You, I'm I think too, you're on the the gay spectrum. I'm like an L-sexual because I'm I'm too lazy to have sex with. Anybody. I feel like they include you in the LGBTQ whatever. Yeah, thing. I'm the L for lazy. <laughs> I'm the lazy part. I just don't. <laughs> the thought of like having to leave my house to have sex with anyone is like a lot of work, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, and that's, and that's the thing is like, once you've, I've done it a few times, you know, and because it's like, it's I, kinda... I just feel like for me, right? Like he's an, he's a successful person. He's established. Yeah. Right. I am a failure person who's not established. I feel like when you're a young man and I'm not really that young, but like you should not be out chasing pussy. I feel like that is like the antithesis of success is chasing after women you should be trying to like figure out what you're going to do, how you're going to be successful. Yeah. Don't you know? listen to him. Go chase love. I think you should chase love. See, some love, men you know? are successful just because they want to fuck women. I th yeah, I think though, I think it's good to chase a lot of pussy when you're younger. <clears throat> and to suck off guys in the bookstore once in a while, whatever. I think that's fine too. But don't start dating any of these people. Well, don't stay single. Yeah, that and that's fine. Don't become a simp. Yeah, yeah. and also do drugs. Don't, don't, fuck people off the internet. Don't let it <laughs> Don't worry about too much what, if you have a job or not. Don't, don't stress about that. Just stupid don't shit. let it consume you. Yeah. Because it's like our buddy the other day. He's our buddy. He called me and he's like, "Hey man, how's it, how's it going?" I'm like, "Oh, it's going good." He's like, "You know, I, I heard you. I heard you've been hanging out with Stella the past couple days, and you know, whatever." And I was like, "Yeah, we were doing business stuff." And he's like, "Did you fuck her?" <laughs> and I'm like, "No," because I want I want to make money. Like, why are you such a a complete? Pussy obsessed weirdo. He's horny. It's almost like men are only created to reproduce. Yeah, sex. I, you know, I, I, so I, weird. I was created to play Minecraft, buy a lot of cars, and make money. Yeah, and I failed at one of those things. I bought a lot of cars. I played Minecraft. No, in the biological, you, you know, know, facts of life, you are an ultimate failure. Yeah, because you haven't reproduced yet. No, I shouldn't have been bred. Look at yeah, me. And you don't even have the desire to reproduce. So therefore, no. biologically, you're it's you you lack any success. There's no point you're here. But yes. in our society now, you're actually really helpful. Exactly. And you're probably going to make some jobs for some people to continue living. Exactly. Yeah. See? You provide some value. You heard it here, folks. Miss Barry told yeah. me that I'm going to be kind of successful. But back in the day, he would have been someone that's like one of the weak that's supposed to die. Because it's like, it's like even, even he with. He would have made so many babies by now. Oh, yeah. He'd or have maybe like not because he's gay. No, he'd have like 50 kids and also 50 men lovers. Yeah, but see, also, though, I have like really, really bad eyesight. So I probably would have fallen off a that's, cliff that's when I was true. Like four years old. You wear old. contacts. That's true. That's Actually, I mean, it did, my eyes didn't get really bad till I was like ten. But by ten, eleven, I probably. When did you first have it. sex? Eighteen. Oh fuck yeah! I was a late bloomer. You would have died pre eighteen. Yeah, probably like ran to a spear at the. Uh, at their, but if at you lived hut. long enough, you would have made so many babies and been so successful. I just feel like if you were like in like you can because yeah, you're Scott you're I'm Scottish. Just like, I'm just like the thing with me is like even this whole like the gay bi I hate all this shit. I just like listen. It's all I'm stupid. 
I'm like a fucking Roman. I'm a Spartan, okay? <laughs> Look at my haircut. You're spread your feet. <laughs> what? What? Like I'm what? A what about back in the good old days? You trad weirdos. They were fucking everybody. Yeah, they're they were. doing whatever. That's what I am, or whatever. I'm a classical human, okay? You're like a dog. You hump everything. All this neo weird <laughs> fucking commute. It's so cringe and disgusting, and I don't want to. I do sexual activities with people that are of age and At consenting. <laughs> Thank you. That's signed paperwork, by the way. A yes. lot of paperwork. Yes. Yeah. Hundreds of pages of paperwork. Yes. Yeah. When was the last time you had sex with someone that you've also, never done paperwork with? Oh, recently, actually. What? The last time you had sex with someone not for work. Like oh. no paperwork done. What, like January, you think? That nice lady? The meeting lady? Yeah. The meeting woman? Yeah, probably, yeah. So you literally have consent forms for almost everyone that you fuck? For the, the past, like, yeah. That's awesome. Five years, six years. It's pretty dope. We run a tight ship over here. Yeah, I need to start getting those for my people. You, she does but have I, all of them. I also I'd like I meant to, for people off camera. I'd like to add though, <laughs> with the more the gay gay discussion. I stopped. Also, a big reason I stopped deciding to do gay stuff was because it makes no fucking money. Basically, Aww. there's not that many people that want to. I know I enjoy some gay content myself. I sure do. You know. At, at time from time. Sissy time Hypno time. doesn't make large amounts of money. You don't say. Wait wow. a minute. You're telling me that doesn't make what money? What is the most profitable sector of gay porn? Lesbian doesn't count because obviously that's pretty profitable. Gay yeah, but porn. even that's like questionable how real profitable. No, but I feel like it's probably it the is. most profitable, no? Or no? <clears throat> it was. Men, but of all the gay porn, then what makes the most money, you think, section wise? The most popular genre? Oh, that's a tough one. Um,. Honestly, like the, I, I feel like p probably like some guys on OnlyFans, like some like really hot OnlyFans dudes, are probably making more money than the biggest gay porn studios that exist. Yeah, on, are like, they going to be tiny? Like Men. dot com is like one of the biggest gay sites. Like fucking, I was privileged enough years ago to do a few scenes for them with uh with Johnny Rapid, a legend, Twink legend. He's been doing porn for like. 12 years now. He's like a 35-year-old twink still. <laughs> Feel free to go look those scenes up. Yeah. Some good work. But I I'm, I, I make more money than them. Just for my member sites. The men.com. Mm -hmm. This whole big fucking... The biggest. One of the biggest. One of the biggest. Sean Cody is probably one of the... Also one of the bigger... Uh, biggest ones. Where their, Sean Cody's big thing was really hot brand new guys. Like jock type. You know... Straightish type dudes. I was rejected for Sean Cody. I did not make the cut. Why? Because I wasn't. I probably had too much of a gay face. Yeah, probably. Man, <laughs> getting discriminated because you have gay face. That wasn't hot enough. It's got to hurt. So you're saying probably it's like the big straight looking type of dudes doing gay shit is probably one of yeah. the most popular. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, probably. And then, but that's what I'm saying. At this point right now, though, like dudes on like gay dudes on like. Twitter that have like 500,000 followers and they're like tatted up and have huge cocks and like they yeah. probably make those guys individually probably make more money per month than like men.com does. Wow. As one of those guys, I can confirm that. <laughs> yes, that's, that's true. And they just like get all oiled up and because that's the thing overall, it's like the gay porn, it's just not you know, people just have this idea that it it's so much money or whatever. Or if like you're just some random dude and you're like 250 pounds and you work at Jiffy Lube, you could just quit your job and go suck dick in Florida I didn't and make know a ton of money. That. No, a lot of guys think that. Really? Yes. Gay guys or straight guys? Don't no, guy straight guys. It's a straight guy fantasy thing. Wow. Because How much did you get paid? Almost nothing. 200 bucks. I probably made like 50, 60K a year the first two years I did Suck gay dick, porn. that's not so bad. I thought, no, yeah, well, to me, you got to look at what your things are. I was just like, I don't want to work construction. Mm hmm I'd rather suck dick and make 50k a year. Yeah. And not really have to do much. Yeah. So That's to what me, I it was, too. <laughs> to me, it was like fine. But most guys have this fantasy. It's like, oh, I, I could do gay porn and oh, I make a fucking, I'll make a hundred million dollars. Mm -hmm. It's like nobody, no, no. Yeah. And then there's a lot of guys that just, that, you know, they're gay. They want to do gay porn for almost nothing anyway. Yeah. So it's like, there's just not much money in it, you know? But then there's also that fantasy of guys, uh, they, well, like in porn in general, that like you got to do gay porn first before you can do stuff with girls. Yeah. And that is completely false, but I believed it and I made it a reality for myself. 
You followed the path. Yeah, I you, followed the path that didn't even actually you exist. You forged that path yeah. for yourself. Because the thing is, like, when you do as much gay porn, like, there's a lot of, because normally what it is because of, like, House of Virginia stigmas and just tradition and trying to keep the gays out from touching the ladies or the half gays. Porn was always like, if you were a guy and you started doing gay porn first, they always wanted you to, like, if you wanted to start doing straight porn a lot and not just here and there, you had to usually take six months off from any bumming activities, any homo activities, and then change your stage name. To be, you need to be called something else and just change your whole, and then maybe you could get a shot at doing straight porn. And you so, st stayed the same. Yeah, no, because I have integrity. I'm not going to try and hide anything. You know what I mean? We are officially addressing the gay allegations then. Mm -hmm. They're all true. <laughs> <laughs> Every single. Unfortunately, they're all true. Every yeah. single one of them. Yeah. This is a great podcast because you guys are just talking. I'm just kind of like vibing here. This is good. But yeah, that's why it's like these like kids on TikTok will jump on and be like, oh, I saw you getting fucking you getting plow in your fucking chocolate starfish. It made me throw Why up. Why were they searching that up in the first place? Because they're bricked Good up question. by the thought of it. They're jerking off to it. Because they wanted to watch it. You don't just stumble upon that. Yeah, but they think it's like a gotcha thing. It's like, I know, gotcha. you're welcome. It's, it really, I, it's like I'm not trying to hide anything. I just stopped doing that because I'm like more of the chicks more often. Like there's less guys I'm into. And there's so much more money in straight stuff. It's, it's like not even this... Like if I could be, like if I could be like, I, I you know what I mean. It's just it's and it, and the thing is too. It's also it's easier to film straight stuff. Mm -hmm. You only have like one penis that needs to get hard. It's it's just it's just what it's just it's easier. It's easier. It makes more money, and it's like there's there's less risks of House of Virginia ownership. I and, mean, uh, I will say you really are like one of the most pervasive people like in porn because like if you look at straight stuff, you'll see your shit. If you look at gay stuff, you'll see your shit. You look at trans stuff, you'll see your shit. Buy stuff, you'll see your shit. I literally cannot browse any pornographic website without seeing some trace some some trace of your lineage. He's literally such a horny demon person. You just yeah. took over the porn industry. Yeah, it's like in you, every facet. Yeah, you yeah, you are like omnipresent. Mm -hmm. He's explored every crevice in in pornography. I mean, there are wedgie videos, tickling videos. I'm very proud of the wedgie content <laughs> that's out there. I'm very mean, proud of it. If there's anyone who has a right to speak about pornographic things with, see, with authority, I went down this it's path you. I did because I fucking done everything, and yeah. seen everything. No, you really have. And I don't know if people, and that's the thing is, I don't know, again, like, you know, now people will watch this because we have Stella here and, you yeah, know. Yeah, so now that's the thing, there's much, yeah. Yeah, you know, normally there will be like 500 I'm just viewers. trying to show the people my master, you know, I'm trying, we're just getting mentored by him. Yeah. Like, I don't yeah. think people really understand. I'm like an eld eldritch deity. Yeah. In this, mm -hmm. in, in Cause the like, jizz world. Yeah, because people, I don't think people fully comprehend. <laughs> I'm so horny now. Just okay. <laughs> they just, they almost had sex on the, this was almost a hookup therapy episode. But he wanted it to be. You both, you, you're both sick people that wanted it to be. Yeah. But like it was, I don't think people realize how absolutely pervasive you, like you, anyone in this business that can speak with authority on what goes on, it is you. Because you've done literally everything. Every, everything. He's the most wise person in the whole world. Like I don't think there's anyone else in, in this industry that's done almost every facet of the business in terms of every mm -hmm. genre, fetish, mm -hmm. production, director. Yeah, job too. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. own his own sites. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone has ever done as much as you've done, you know? And that's why, like, when I listen to you talk about it, I'm like, oh, no, this makes sense. But a lot of people see you and they're just like, oh, all he does is just pretend to be the little brother or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's just what makes him the most money. And they don't understand that and you've done everything. And, and well, the thing is, everything. too, is it's like... A lot of the content I make, it's it's also what I kind of enjoy day in, day out making. Incest. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes. Step incest. I think it's hot. I was never huge into it, you know. All, like, it was something I kind of grew into. Like, so I definitely think it's hot, but it's also, it makes people like it. Mm -hmm. And it's also fun because you get, it's when you're a creative person, it's good to have parameters mm -hmm. of like, what are you doing? So like yeah. early on, I decided, like, okay, I'm gonna stop doing stuff with guys because it doesn't make any money. And, like, because for a while I started, when I started family therapy, I started a, a little known uh, brand that you can still find on Clips for Sale uh, called Breaking Boys. Oh, God. Why'd you which, Breaking Boys? Yeah. Oh, my God. Which there I was never no real, knew there that. There wasn't. Don't. Really, 
These are all men of consistency. Do, do not look up breaking boys for this for your own mental sanity. Was it you fucking boys? I mean, I I God, mean men, 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 but like, but like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that sounded so bad. We can cut that out. No, okay, was it editing, you? Yes. This is was not it <laughs> you? Just the intention to cut it out. We're not going to cut it out. Was it you fucking smaller men, or was it men fucking you? It, it was, was like fucking. everything. It was really like it would have been cool if it was like. Me and a couple of and guys like making math, like twinks making math, and me <laughs> fucking them. That would have been super cool. That would have been a good concept. But it was it was basically the, the thing with that was I'd started family therapy on Close Yourself first, and that was the taboo, you know, role play, family role play stuff. Which I, that was to me, it was like when I started that because I was like, this makes sense. People like this, and it's pretty easy to film, and you know, I think it's hot. I think there's potential in this. And I don't have to do weird soup. Because Clips for Sale is all big fetish stuff. So a lot of people fucking on there were either doing family stuff or th- and making money, like family stuff or s- weird superhero shit or like other strange. I was like, I don't under- know what superheroes. I don't know, you know, DC, Thank God you Marvel, didn't go that route. like I don't, you know. So family therapy made sense. And then I was like, well, let me start some homo stuff. And a couple months later, I started breaking boys. The whole kind of thing with that was me torturing men. Um, in my apartment in Fort Lauderdale, and doing sexual activities to them. She's looking up Breaking Boys right now, <laughs> live on the podcast. <laughs> so it was like it was kind of like a, like light BDSM type homo stuff. So that's I the would stuff like I've always seen done to you on the internet. When yeah, well, that's probably where I came from. Like, I, I'm going to be the weird guy <laughs> tying people up now. It's my turn. Oh, my God, yeah. Clips for sale comes up immediately. Yeah. A tiny little pervert is hiding in Alex's bathroom. The little man is rewarded with a very nice show when Alex enters to jerk off to porn on his computer. Foot worship, wedgies, humiliation. Alex is a low-life pervert who loves nothing more than to be insulted. Nothing's changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some good, I mean, my opinion, there's some good content there. Yeah. Oh, Stella's probably going to love it. We're just finding them jerk off material right now. But it, it's like. Wow. Wait, this one, he's definitely abusing you. Which one's that? Oh, yeah. Well, see, that was probably like the, it probably, that's part of. There will be a, there'll be a link to the scene in, in the description of this Breaking Boys. Okay. Well, I might have, I might have done a reverse thing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, my God. Yeah. So that was so like, I, and that one I was, and that was with uh, Joe Parker. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Legend. Yeah. Who was actually my roommate for for a while, years and years ago. He was a very good guy. Um, oh my God, you're licking feet. Yeah, I did like a reversing where I was some like, you know, like a horny person hiring Joe to to abuse me and do, you know, do homo things to me. <laughs> but a lot of the st- a lot of them, <laughs> like, but a lot of them were like kind of <gasps> like, like I'm sixth, doing creepy stuff. The sixth thing that comes up when you search Breaking Boys Alex Adams is stepdaughters escape from vacation and then Stella Berry and Alex Adams on TikTok. Holy shit. I am even in your gay searches. You're a part of the bre- you're part of the Breaking Boys. Oh my god. This you know, is like I, the coolest I, thing ever. You know what? I wonder. Tiny little pervert. I wonder if you were kind of like right before buck breaking. Look at it, it's oh, yeah. always him. He's like always the one on the Yeah. You 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 said you were the one abusing no, them, but see, it seems w- like you're always the okay, one. Okay, well, I'm getting abused again in this one. As yeah, well. but see, these were the 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 later scenes, mm. and I think as I'd done so many, where I was just the guy, so I was starting to do like, let's do more where you abuse me. <clears throat> do you want me to give you wedgies? No, but maybe. <laughs> I'm not saying that we couldn't. I did a. <laughs> I did a. Um, you can find this on X videos. It's like a brother sister like wedgies with like me and Marsha May where I was both wearing whitey tighties. It's only like a three, four minute clip or something. But I mean, it's got like a lot of views. It's got at least some millions of views. People liked it. 200 million. <laughs> Two minute wedgie clip. Yeah. I'm getting abused. And, uh, yeah. More than I remembered. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair to say. You can take it though, which is the cool part. You can take a lot oh of abuse. God. But I also did quite a bit of abusing as well. I, I don't want to, Addressing the abuse allegations. <laughs> <laughs> They're all true. On Breaking Boys Clip Store. Can we actually just interlude this with the fact that you have been doing porn for so long and you've never had one abuse allegation? Yeah, I'm still waiting on, still waiting on my, uh, he's my rape gay, allegations. So he's nice. Like he's a great guy. Well, I think it's just because we, we both go to the, we both, we, we all just want to go home. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to cause more of a hassle than they have to. You know, Look, tr- see, here's one where I'm, Doing some. Ooh, your body looks crazy. What's the description on that say? 
bondage, foot fetish, spanking, edging. Alex Adams is a simple man who always takes what he wants. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> You're welcome. Breaking Boy's first three gay bondage classics include You're at the Right Place, My Pet Emo Punk, and Neighborhood Watch Success Story. Those are all really good. So you were Those doing male classics. domination videos, basically, and then you realized there was no money in it. Yeah, well, there were some. Wow, I mean, like, four, you were really is, dominant in this one. The thing is, the thing is, like, for what I was doing on Clips for Sale, it was like, they were pretty popular. But just after, like... He's hard as rock during this, so he's definitely gay. Look at that. He has a cage. Yeah, you had a dog cage. Yeah, that guy's in a dog cage. Was it your actual dog's cage? He's no, it was up at this other place I used to film He's at. drinking from the sink. That was a good one. That, was, that, that guy was very cool. I love yeah, how it's in 360p. Oh, is, I wish this was me. <laughs> well, that was like the low. Back on Clipshare, you upload different versions. From uh, updates. Okay, okay. There's a high, higher fidelity version. You can buy a 720p. This is so hot. <laughs> but... See, the thing is, like, it was popular at the time, but it was, like, after maybe, like, six, eight months of doing that and then also doing family therapy, family therapy was so much more, it was making so much more compared to that just because the market for a lot of cases is just way smaller. So then I just kind of felt like I wanted to be able to, because mostly I was working with, with ladies that I'd met on my own or through some other fetish studios I filmed with that didn't care about me being, like, a weird <laughs> bi person. This one is him being asleep, getting jerked off while he's asleep. Wait, look, he's passed <laughs> out. The guy's just jerking him off while he's passed out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bro, you look like you're dead. This one. Wait for some of the cuts are so good. <laughs> you look passed out. It's nice because it's always like when it's the questionable character in it that's getting abused, it's him. Yeah. Like it's this like is a, like French art house yeah. It's porn. Yeah, people don't. There's a lot of content people don't that, that don't really know about. It's not widely known about until now. Until now, watch. I have masturbated to your gay porn before. Watch Breaking Boys is going to make 20k this month. <laughs> Revival. On Run fun. it up, guys. Run it up. Revival on clips for sale. But so you know, I'm just as a you know, there's if there's nothing I'm if I'm nothing else, I'm a businessman. <laughs> you know, so I had to you know I had to make. The best the right decision for the business. And that had to be moving away from Look, this is what he looks like in a skirt. Yeah, he showed style. me this one before. Yeah, yeah. The buy yeah, the, the buy one. Oh yeah. That's I've jerked off of that multiple times. <laughs> well, <laughs> multiple, I'm saving this times. one. It's a, it's a classic on X videos. <laughs> you search uh like Subby Four Hobby, million Alex views. Adams. A hundred percent thumbs up. <laughs> Very popular scene. Yeah. Men in skirts. Our, my stepdaughter abusing my stepson and myself, making us do weird homo activities with each other. And Top her. comment says, introducing your young white males to submitting and relinquishing authority early is your best bet to fully embrace their true roles in life. Get them gagging on cock and come as soon as possible. Eventually, they'll settle into the role as sissy slave boy they were meant to be. Average X videos. Good comedy. parent advice. <laughs> can we just can we get a YouTube series where Stella just reads X video comments? Yeah. Alex Adams is so hot. I'd love to suck his beautiful cock. Facts. Thank you. Facts. <laughs> Facts emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's hot. All right. Well, well this that's is cool. this is taking a, a turn. Well, now I'm horny, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we'll send this now. No, I'm kidding. We have we have other important things to talk about, don't we? That are not gay related. Yeah, you guys want to talk about uh, how to how to get into the jizz, what it takes to be jizzers, professional jizz people. Are we still doing that, or? Well, I feel like don't be gay. <laughs> be a little. It doesn't make any money. Be a little be gay, but do what makes you the most money. Be a little bit gay. No, you have to. Be, you. See, I the think thing you is, should though, be able the, well, to do everything sexually if you want to go into. Porn. See, the you thing is, even like a lot of guys, like straight male performers that have never even done gay stuff on camera or whatever. Most of those guys, not trying to, you know, be like every guy's gay, but every guy's kind of gay a little bit. Let's be honest. Facts. Like everybody's <laughs> technically all like gay. Like everybody could fuck anyone if they just. Yeah, in a little way, a but like a lot, a lot of times even just totally straight male performer guys, they've mm -hmm. done a lot of, <laughs> they've done a lot of shit in their real person, in their personal life before. A lot of probably like group sex stuff, a lot of maybe, maybe they, we're in a situation where they needed they needed something so they could feel better. 
So they let maybe an older man do something, get, help them out. You know, there's a lot of things that happen in yeah. life. When you're a young man. It's a nuanced conversation. <laughs> yeah. When you're a young buck. Who when needs you're a young buck and you're well endowed, there's a lot of things that maybe you participate in that yeah. are not always the most straight things you could do. Well, even Drew, <laughs> my ex, who's super straight, Loves butthole, but super straight. When he's in manic episodes and he needs some money, he always somehow like men find him at bars and they're like, "Hey, I'll pay you fifty bucks if I can like jerk off in front of you, or you jerk off in front of me, yep. or like Very you common. know." He said lots of those, and he and he's he does it. Yep. See, that's what we call the gig economy. <laughs> yeah. Which you know, it's like it's like DoorDash or Uber. Or like Uber. Gay guys I was, pay straight I was, guys. For I was participating pleasure. in that for years before I started yeah. doing porn. Yeah. You know, what I mean, so like, and part of that was like, you know, made me. It was I was a, tra- a tutorial. For the industry. Yeah. Of being around different things. Sexually. I feel like you should have curiosity sexually outside of porn before you go into the industry of porn. Yeah. You should really... Um, should be about it. This should be a lifestyle decision. Yeah. You should be have uh, quite a bit of experience with different types of people and like being able to like... It, just being horny and on your computer is not quite enough. Yeah. Like even if you... No, not no. Doing videos. Because you got to be close. comfortable learn in how so to... many new situations, yeah. intimate with people, not only in front of a camera, but just like in new sexual situations, and know how to handle yourself and know what you find hot. Yeah, and then to be able to know how to like read people, mm-hmm. understand body language, mm-hmm. like because that's the thing with, with with me is like, well, I haven't, you know, nobody's come out and said, you know, I fucking did anything bad to him. Yeah, because I haven't. Now he's, he's nice and gay. Hey, guess what? There are some chicks out there that do not like me. Yeah, I promise you that. There's, yeah. I have, but there's a lot I have of yelled at women like. before on set. <laughs> I have. I will admit to that because there are some women who are nightmares, living, walking, breathing nightmare people. Okay, I've heard the stories, <laughs> and I am a good, a genuinely good man, and I try to do treat people nice. And there's sometimes when you try to pe- treat people nice and expect people to be normal and nice. No, there are some people that. To aren't like that. No. <laughs> There's some people who just wake up every day and are like, let me be a complete nightmare bitch and ruin people's life. It's absolutely true. And the thing is, they can get away with that because there's some men who put up with that bullshit. I do not. <laughs> I will not tolerate it. Yeah. You know, so there's women out there who would definitely probably say some mean things about me, but they're not going to say I fucking, you know. Touched them wrong. Yeah. And now yeah, people can make things up or whatever. But I, in my experience, people only even make things up when you really, he's, there's some truth to it. He's there's like getting truth. ahead of any potential allegations that could ever come out, which just happened. Well, I just, I, I think. It's like if anyone ever says anything. Well, I think it's like. They won't though. Yeah. Well, it's like fundamentally the way that. Because I'm a, you know, I'm a genuinely like good person and I fucking try to make good stuff and I'm chill and I can understand if like, like. I don't have a weird rape kink. Like some guys are like do maybe, but like yeah. if I'm doing something with a chick, like if I start kissing a chick and I didn't like ask her or something or something, you know what I mean? Like yeah, because that's normally you don't really. There's girls on Twitter. I'll be like, well, you need to ask. It's like that's not how you. That's not what you guys want anyway. Yeah. It's like a thing. If a chick is like, oh, I don't, and I'm like, oh, hey, no problem. Well, I think because I'm like a normal person, and then I'm not like it's fine. Well, I think I think that's the big thing is like the way that that he runs things. Is it's just super professional. It's like, hey, this is like a four like four hour shoots, two things. Like at the very beginning, we're like, you know, he's like, you know, what do you like? What are you cool with? What are you not cool with? Like, mm-hmm. you know, come shots. What do you like? Like, you know, is there shit that makes you uncomfortable immediately? Yeah. And it's like he's not trying to fucking date or take these girls to dinner after doing that shit. It's like we both very much want to go home as quickly as possible. We we'll so, make good content. Yeah, make a co- make cool videos. Going. It's chill. It takes like three hours. And a regular mainstream shoot is like eight to 12 hours. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's very professional. It's like, to be honest, I wouldn't have taken this job if he ran it any other way. That's why, like, before I even started with him, I was like, hey, man, let's like do a test shoot. I'll take a day off of my, you know, my regular job and I'll come see how you run things. And I saw how he ran things and I was like, oh, this is like a regular business. It's not like some creep well, shit. Well, yeah, it's like I, I'm know? like I try to be like YouTube I'm trying to be like like really professional, but also very casual and chill. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, so, I mean, sometimes I get in the, I run into more issues just because of how like casual <laughs> our shoots are. Yeah. Where it's like there's some chicks that if you don't have fucking eight guys standing around in the you know holding boom mics and like a makeup artist on set, they immediately don't take it seriously. Mm-hmm. 
So, but usually I try to, if I get that vibe, I usually try to be like, well, let's kind of not film anything today, please. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm yeah, trying to, I'm trying to really only, I only want to like, the thing to me, it's like, if I get the sense that you do not enjoy in any kind of way, the sexual activity we're having, even if, you know, you wouldn't have it if, if there wasn't money involved or whatever, that's fine. But if you're not like kind of enjoying it a little bit, I don't want to participate in it. Yeah. I have artiste. no desire. I have no desire yeah. to keep doing that. Well, because you want to make good videos. Yeah. Artists and it's like, and I don't make yeah. weird. This is a professional abuse business. Videos. Yeah. You know? So it's like that. That's why, like, you're probably never going to have any of those weird accusations unless they're completely fabricated. Like Eighteen rape allegations. Oh yeah. <laughs> right there's like a, there's like an Alex Adams accountability I'm Twitter like comes locked out. Locked up. They throw me with like Ron Jeremy. <laughs> me and Ron in the loony in yeah. the loony bin frauding together. No, but I think that's the thing, man. Like, and that's why when, like, when I tell people I do this nightmare job, you know, people are like, ah, oh, dude, that must be so cool to be around all these hot chicks all day. And it's like, bro, I'm just trying You're to like, do. No, they're nightmares. I hate them. No, it's not even that I hate. <laughs> it. It's not even that I hate them. It's like I'm just trying to do the paperwork and go home, bro. It's like this is not. Yeah. It's not like fucking. You summer hired the most perfect, just a. It's not like fucking summer. Yeah. Well, the thing is, bro, it's like because yeah, I don't have to worry about him like raping. Dude, yeah, he's like, not over there salivating. Because sometimes you'll hear stories about like some for some company. It's like oh, like the 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 fucking uh, PA or whatever fucking got me to maybe jerk him off in the bathroom or whatever, and like you guys I don't are have great to team. like I now this I mean. Who knows? Anything's possible, but I highly doubt. Yeah, no, it's that Nick so here like, is going to participate. In no, because I'm just. He's done that to me a couple of times. He's made me jerk him off in the bathroom. Well, that's how I got the job with her. So that's how I became her new assistant too. Is and if you stop letting me, I'll fire you. Oh fuck! It was just initially a carrot to get in, and now I've. I've got... No, because it's like, man, when I'm like when I'm at a shoot, no. it, when I'm going to shoot, it's like I'm looking at like website shit, legal shit, bit like shit where I'm just. I'm, I don't even know if there's a girl there most of the time. You I'm, just don't drool over girls anyway, though. No, because I'm thing. panicking about making money. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like if I was like a, a, a pussy-obsessed coomer, I wouldn't be able to do this job. No. Like, a lot of the guys we're friends with are immediately like, dude, Stella's so fucking hot guy, I need to fuck her right now. And it's like, bro, it's like, we're, ta- we're, at, we're getting food talking about cars. Like, can you not, like, she's not even here. And it's like, a lot of guys are like that, and I'll tell them, especially young guys who are complete failures... <laughs> I'd be like, bro, learn how to make five or ten or twenty k a month, and then you can care about women. Because you know what? You know when women like you more when you have a little bit more money. The only way women don't like you when you don't have any money is if you're super hot and toxic. Yeah, that works too. And I they mean, think they can fix you. I'll be honest, guys. It's a lot easier oh, to get like a bunch of tattoos and be weird, manipulative, and toxic and treat women badly than it is to make like fifteen k a month. So yeah. just some food for thought. It is. It is. <laughs> As someone who did that, but without treating women badly, because I can't do that. Because women like me, like that, and that's the thing is yeah. like you got you two always larp about chicks and shoots wanting to fuck me, and they probably see me and they're like, "Oh, I'd love to fuck him." Yes, they do. And then <laughs> personality just turns everyone and then they away. Get, and then they see my personality, and I'm so disinterested in that, and they're like, "Oh wait, he's not going to treat me like crap." Because they want you to come over to him and like pull out a switchblade. And be like, no, they yeah. want you, you know, to come over and just be a little bit narcissistic and, and and arrogant and just like. Well, here's the problem: is they want someone they can neg them, be be rude to them, you know, insult them a little bit. Well, that's like, the thing is like. Than them. Well, because most of the time when I when I talk to them, it's just about cars, and we're talking about cars with them there and they have no clue what's going on and we're like laughing about some badly spec Lamborghini. You're gonna be rich someday. You don't need to worry about having game. It's okay. No, it's like I, the thing is, is like women want people they can fix and I'm so unfixable and I'm uninterested in well, someone trying to fix mom, me. you live with your so you don't need a mommy basically. No, exactly. You already have a mommy figure. So exactly. And she already doesn't like me. So it's kind of like they, <sighs> they think I'm fixable and the only thing that fixes me is going back to 2011 when things were good. No hot woman is going to fix that. Like, Skylar Vox can't make things better. I can look at her and be like, oh, you're super hot. But it's like, Skylar, do you have a time machine? She's like, <laughs> no. And I'm like, uninterested. Yeah. But see, this makes girls like you because they're like, oh, he's depressed. I can fix him. I can be his you happiness. Know? But then it's like a chick will text me and she'll be like, hey, you want to hang out? You want to come over? And I'll be like, no. And I'll, just, I'll sit there on, on, on TeamSpeak with my boys watching a documentary about the Bossy Boys in Afghanistan, which is about Afghanistan pedophiles. Great, good watch by the Af- way. It is a very in depth documentary. I actually documentary. really do want to watch it. I'll link. I, I got to link it to it you. It sounds really sad though. It is us. incredibly sad. It's very very depressing. So it's like I, I d- think it, uh, it's good to learn about other cultures. So you're basically <laughs> saying that you're an incel <laughs> in the way that like you 
purposely choose to not fuck women. It's not that women don't. It's called. Fuck uh, women. Excuse they me. It's do. called. Uh, Even when they do want to fuck you, you don't want to fuck. Uh, Miss Barry is called vol cel. Yeah, vol What's vol voluntarily celibate. Oh, okay. Instead okay. of involuntary celibate. Oh, God, God, God. <laughs> my thing. My thing with the. My thing with the. He has sex sometimes though. I do. Yeah, very rarely. But like the thing is, is like my thing with any of these porn chicks is like if I was to have sex with them. And like for some reason it like didn't go well or like they I like I said something to piss them off. I don't want the blowback on him. Oh yeah, horrible. So it's like I don't want to hook up with some chick and then she's like, Oh, Nick beat me and burned a cross on my front yeah. lawn and, and, and burned and down I wish my house. He would just text me back. I miss yeah. him so much. And then like his agent calls and is like, You heard Nick's been beating my girls, and it's like I just don't even want to do that. And Got also you. you know what I mean? And a lot of these chicks, like I had one chick who was like do you film too? And I'm like, no. I'm like, why do you think that? She's like, oh, you're really hot. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And she's like, she kind of had autism, I think, a little bit. And she's like, do you have a big penis? And I'm like, no, I'm not really. Because she probably wanted me to film, like, do OnlyFans stuff with yeah, her. Yeah, she's like, oh, he's hot. I'd like to fuck him. And to be him. honest, I would do that if she paid me $15,000. <laughs> but then you'd have to figure out how to get your good card. No, I could make that happen. I could just think about Minecraft mm. or something. That's easy. That's not hard. <laughs> it's not, that's not hard to do. It's very easy for me to get a, a boner. But I would want like any chick. I would want fifteen. Get the, get the feet out. I would want. The... Yeah, wait, this is a new, new podcast ritual of Miss Barry's feet. It's foot time. Now we're getting bored. New thumbnail. Oh God, are they dirty? I think that's they're... fine. That's good. Yeah, guys like it when they're dirty. To be honest, it's a big thank you. <laughs> new thumbnail. <laughs> I can't wait to get a text from him. Hey man, can you make the thumbnail or feet again? There you go. That's. So you have a gift. You have a gift for content. You really do. Just getting naked and showing my feet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's what you should do if you want to go into this business. One, you shouldn't be a rapist. You yep. should want to be very professional. You shouldn't be doing this just to get pussy or butthole or whatever you're into. Well, you should, yeah, you should be very a horny person. But, immensely. But not. A rapist. Yeah. Just don't be weird. Just, just don't be, be a fucking, fucking professional. You should <clears throat> want to more so make hot content that you and be uh, in the role of a director than be having hot sex that gets your personal dick really hard. Well, the thing, the, the, the thing is too is like, and I understood this very early when I started making videos. Was like, I wanna, like, I wanna mostly fuck hot chicks, but I to be able to do that, you have to be able to. <laughs> You have to be able to like make content people are gonna want to watch. So without focusing on like now this is content. How do I make good content that people want to buy and, and view? I won't be able to continue to do this job, you know? Yeah, you can So it's like that's going. that's the most important thing to me has always been like, am I making like hot videos people want to pull their dick out and jerk off to? Yeah. They want to pay some money for. If I'm not doing that, this job doesn't exist for me. Yeah, exactly. You, you know? got to listen to the market, you know, and that's just like when you're creating your own content. But at this point, if I wasn't creating my own content, I would be. <laughs> Ain't nobody hired me. <laughs> I have a, too much of a storied uh, past in history, <laughs> you know. Too many, too many trials. And I would. And I'd rather live on the street than work for any any other company. Just to be clear, you've been through. <laughs> I would just also to be clear, agree I'd rather that. live be a homeless person. <laughs> I also just, uh, agree. Two years from now, I'm homeless. I'm like, hey, I was joking about that. Hey, I was just kidding. Hey, Blazos, hey, I'm ready to work. Hey, Team Skeet, I'll come work for I'm you. I'm real hungry. Did you ever burn bridges with companies? I like to think Mainstream that I have. Industry? I like to think that I have, but nobody really cares. Uh, no. <laughs> nobody pays attention to the shit I say. And also, but I've talked shit about all, every, almost every mainstream porn company that exists. And you get so you get so many views, they wouldn't even care. Yeah. They'd be like, whatever, bro. <laughs> just pick the hate cam up, yeah. dude. Just do your thing. <laughs> you're, you're fucking. We're paying you 1500 bucks. Your member site. Your, your member site could literally be fuckteamskeet.com, and they they pay you to be a director because it would get so many views. They wouldn't even care. They'd be like, whatever, bro. Who gives a shit? Well, when are they gonna pay him? Fifteen million is his going rate. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, fifteen million teams. Hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll come in the office. I'll come in the. You'll office. revolutionize your guys' I'll, business. I'll come in the office, but you know, it's just no. They couldn't, I because I do a different thing than they do. Yeah, I make good videos. <laughs> well, that's you know? the thing is like. I, I feel like with your it's video, it's a whole different style. They, and then their styles, you know, their just, style's not good and mine's good. It's basically well, I, what it comes down to. Well, I feel like that's the thing. Like with <laughs> with your videos, like I don't even know. Like obviously, like the incest stepbrother stepsister thing, you know, mommy stepmom plays like a huge part. But it's like also your videos just feel so like aesthetically real. Because well, I'm a human being and I have a soul. You I'm trying to make his videos. Dick this that, entire podcast. Um. Well, getting Can good. We start He's, insulting him. Jeez. I hey, 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 I got a raptor to pay for. All right. 
<laughs> Women. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's just like I just paid these both these people fucking five thousand dollars. You're just so this. special for just, here's like the hundred he reason is a why gift you're just, to the you're earth. such a fucking gift. Thank you, by the way, for employing. He's like me. people watch this. Like, his videos are <laughs> and fucking. Me a truck. His videos are fucking mid. Who oh, gives bro, a fuck? Bro, you, but see, the thing with my you videos said you're is, not gay, but you jerk him off the is, whole podcast. Is, He's it's just like they just they have a soul. I actually like I genuinely care about making stuff hot and making like what like I just I don't make slop, man. Most most companies out there, and there's a few exceptions, like blacked, they make amazing stuff. Like there's some people out there very different from what I make, but there's other companies out there that I do respect. Actually, there there is a few, not many, but I actually truly care about making like creative hot content in my in a certain style and feeling. You're so good at it, truly. And and that's the thing is most companies do not care about that. They don't respect the consumer. They don't respect the girls that they hire. They don't respect any of their employees. Like, there's no respect at all. Like, and that's the thing, too, is, like, to m- making the hot, good videos in my own way, also with that comes, like, caring about the people I'm working with, not treating people like fucking sacks of meat or shit or being an asshole, you know what I mean? Now, I've gotten in fucking screaming matches before models, before we filmed anything because... They treated me like dog shit immediately. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Anybody, you don't even have to like suck my dick. You don't have to say like, oh my God, Alex, you got 8 million billion views. You just got to treat me like a human being. Just want to be there. And not be homophobic. <laughs> yes. You can be homophobic. I don't care. <laughs> don't express your Pride homophobia <laughs> to him. You could be nice to me and, and, and call me faggot. I'm not. Hey, that's fine. Oh, now you call me good. faggot in, in a mean way, then I'm going to have a problem with it. Yeah. yeah. In a but nice like, tone. Just got to be kind of normal and kind of want to make something cool. Yeah. If you can do that, the thing is, there's some church girls out there that don't can't do that for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> or they can do that for some other company, but for me, maybe because they don't know who I am when they yeah. show up. They just want the paycheck. And they don't, you know what I mean? So they think that because there's sometimes where women, I'm sad to say, treat people differently sometimes. <laughs> they treat yeah. some companies, they, they'll, they'll be on their best behavior, but then they're shooting for like some random dude who's got a mini vid store. They act like a complete nightmare. And to me, it's like, hey, that's fine, bro. Do what you want, but you're not filming with me. <laughs> you will not be in my presence for more than like five minutes. Like, get the fuck away from me. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, especially, bro, it's like, I don't know. It's like, that's the thing. It's like, I shouldn't get a fucking medal of, uh, I shouldn't get some kind of like gold star or anything. And I won't. You should be in prison. <laughs> but like, because I just treat people decent. Star. I treat girls decent. I, I fucking try to make good videos. Mm-hmm. It's like, I shouldn't get a, you know celebrate because I don't fucking rape people. But there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that like they treat the girls like shit. They treat people like shit. Girls want to work with them. They beg to work for them. Then they're like, oh no, everybody says he's a rapist. Actually, I don't want to work with him. I hated working with him. Or like companies that do this shit and hire guys they know are fucking rapists, pieces of shit. Until like too many people get mad about it, and they get those companies get awards. Those people get awards. Like, and I, I. This business is retarded. That's why we don't associate <laughs> with any of the yeah, actual that's industry why and we I, just yeah. make our own shit. <laughs> that's why we're underground. That's why we're so cool, and that's why you're listening to this And podcast. that's why it's like if I'd ever get like nominated for an AVN, which eventually, like I probably will like 10 years from now, and I will tell them to throw it in the trash can. He gets up on stage, he <laughs> stomps I would not waste my time even going out there to that shithole desert nightmare place. You're like... You're like uh, Vegas. You're like some like kind of like boutique art house French director who films shit in like the yeah. the, the sewers of Paris. Yeah, yeah. and then like the and he's and, like fuck Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. like yeah. and then like the like the Oscars comes out and they're like, hey, we'd like to, you know, we'd like to give you an award. And you're like, I think I'd like that. And you come out to the Oscars, you dress up, and then you at, when you win, you immediately pull down your pants and shit on the stage. That's exactly. exactly. What I was say, yeah. And you're like. <laughs> And you pick Pick a violent shit on the Yeah, and you pick it up and you're like, this is art, and you smear on your face (laughs) and you walk off. Please do that. Will you just actually shit on stage? Because then I won't be able to do that. I'm I'm wearing. You'll be poop guy. (laughs) Stella just. I'll be like, thank you guys so much for this award. It just, it fills me with this. What's it? I'm filled with. Oh! (laughs) (laughs) Like just just violent at the crowd. (laughs) Stella just wants to not be known as poop guy. Isn't that what uh, Gigi Allen. Is that who it is? He used to throw shit at the crowd. Yeah, yeah. I like how you both. I don't know who the fuck that is. I like how you both know who that is. It's a punk legend. 
Oh, you is he? Know? No, yeah, I have no idea. Like, he would like eat his shit. He would shit on stage I think he every was a, time. I think he was a kind of a he bad person. Eat his shit. <laughs> oh, no, he was very bad. Yeah, oh. he, was, he was mentally deranged for sure. Well, oh, was he? Oh, I, I thought he was completely normal. I figured, <laughs> yeah. but, I figured but, part white... of his act was shitting and throwing his shit at the, at the, at the audience. <laughs> it's called art, Nick. I oh, we just oh. talked about this. <laughs> yeah. I figured, this. based on being an artist, performance art. I figured he had a wife and two kids, white picket fence. You know, I figured he was a great guy. He does have a daughter or something, I think. God bless him. He's dead, though. He's dead. Also, God bless him. Yeah. That's. He's in heaven now. He's in, he's, in, he's in heaven now. And he's reincarnated. He's at the Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> Jesus Christ, at the Rainbow That's where dogs go. <laughs> That's where <laughs> it's he's at. Rainbow Bridge. Gigi Allen's the Rainbow Bridge with the dogs. <laughs> An icon. Holy I shouldn't shit. say that. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much shit in this that people can get mad about that, like... But, but See, everything we've we said hit, is a joke. We hit people with so much shit all at once that... All right, it's too much. They're, too, they're probably like, yeah. And, I mean, to be honest, we're 55 minutes in. If once you're again, still you here... You have to be so gay if they're still here. I know. Because we talked about so yeah, much Yeah, but you know what? Stuff. On the last one we did with you, there were like at least 10 comments, people being like, oh, I watched the whole thing. I love it. Well, because my feet were in it. So. No, no, no. It's because you're in it. Yeah. Aww. It's because people love Stella. It's the tr It's the truth. And you I'm know? just here to give you guys a voice because men don't get enough, uh, don't get heard these days. That's exactly true. Well, men need a yeah. seat at the table. Unironically true. And women, and we are we are so done. tired of being silenced. We have straight been... men need a voice. It's the matriarchy. Straight yes. men in Florida need a voice. That's right. Straight I... white men in Florida need a voice. Yep, even more so. See, now we're gonna get <laughs> now we're gonna get banned from YouTube. You're showing your straight feet. white men with homophobic <laughs> secret tendencies. <laughs> He, he's not a secret homo. He's, he's homophobic as a gay straight man. Straight white men in well, Florida he, that watch sissy trainer porn on xvideos.com. I think he just. Need a voice. They need a voice. He's not homophobic. No one's also speaking own for them. McLaren's and no, a Lamborghini. Okay. All right. Secretly gay men. And openly, openly se gay men. Secretly that are openly straight. gay. <laughs> homophobic men. Homophobic <laughs> sissy training watcher, Lamborghini, Huracan, Performante Monte owners. <laughs> Need a voice. He just, need a voice. he just has a very specific opinions on what gays are and what they're doing. Well, and his are correct. I, I, I would, think that everything he says is correct. As a non-gay, I can't comment. Everything on he that. says is correct. You know, it just is the truth. You know what I am? I'm a Minecrafter, which is so much different than what you guys are, and maybe worse. And no one wants to hear your voice. No, no. I don't even know why I'm on the show. To be <laughs> all I am is I'm just an average Dark Souls player. Honestly. That's that's true. At the end of the day, that's it. That's true. That's all you need to know about me. That that's a good <laughs> that's a good point. But Miss Stella, how are you enjoying your your Florida living experience so far? I love it here. It's been so fun. I didn't know Florida had casinos. I don't know why I didn't. Know that. <laughs> yeah, because you went to you went to the the live the Bad Friends thing, right? I went to Bad Friends, which is a successful YouTube podcast, and it was very inspiring, actually. No, I didn't. Because they like. filled out a whole freaking stadium, <laughs> nice. and I was like, "This is just a YouTube podcast." It was just a one hour show. They showed their butt to like all the audience members. How many people do you think were there? Ooh, thousands. I mean, it was huge. <laughs> it was huge. And I was like, wow, this is what we could be as a YouTube podcast. And we just go on well, stage, we show our buttholes. We You could be that, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if you could bring us along It's two men. The podcast is two men. I know, men. but they're funny. <laughs> they're funny and people care about them. You guys them. are so funny. And, and Yeah, but nobody knows that yet. Okay, yeah. well, we regardless, fine. We are doomed to be an unsuccessful <laughs> YouTube know. podcast. No, but it we don't have to be. You just have to do a little bit they of work. They were so funny. You have to help us. Please help us. I will. <laughs> Please help us. I'm going to co-opt their bad. whole team. We'll kill and people for it you. It was super fun, and it was great. And I gambled a bit. I won 70 bucks. What would you play? Um, I played blackjack. Nice. Yeah, and I lost a lot. And then I played slots, and I won 70 bucks. Did you win your money bet? Did you end up in the green or in the red? Oh, no, I lost 400. <laughs> <laughs> but I won average, 70 one time. Average gambling experience. <laughs> She's like, I won $70. Well, how was the night? Oh, I lost 500. <laughs> um, it was a blast. I love it here. I love Florida. I was thinking about getting into gambling. You don't need to do that. That is something that, you yeah, just stay in your house. Yeah, okay. you, yeah, you, should, <laughs> you should maybe avoid the... Uh, avoid the gambling. Yeah. If you want to buy more cars, no gambling. Okay. Yeah. Please, no. Yeah, please, no more. Don't I'll do gamble anything. for us. Yeah, let her. Yeah, let, let Miss I don't have the addiction gene. Yeah. We could take We could take her to the casino and if she If you can start gamble. gambling, we're fucked. Yeah. If you stick with the cars, I, I'm okay with that. I love how she's like, if we're fucked. <laughs> we're almost done. We got. We're we, fucked. We That's got, something you can't come back from. And guys, yeah. we're almost done with the cars. We got one more car that's being worked on right now. And then one that needs to be sold, and then there's no more cars, okay? For a long time. And I, then I what's going to be? Nothing. Baby Work, making. making money. Children. Yes, putting babies in you. Yeah. Trying to make some then fucking money. Then we're going to start building a family, and then all the, all the car to money to is going to go to the kids and their schools, and then you're going to become so miserable because you don't have your cars, and then you're going to have a midlife crisis. Yeah, it's fine. 
I'm already midlife. Sorry, I'm already in a crisis. You are you literally in your 30s. I'm 36. I'm midlife. Midlife. I'm, I'm telling you, what's I'm, gonna happen? I'm You're past gonna a- midlife for me. I guarantee you. <laughs> I am. That puts me at seven. Do you I'm know I heard a theory? 60, everyone maybe. alive today, everyone young today is going to live to 140. See, that's such a LARP. That's such a fucking... That's... Bro, bro, he he drinks so much Gatorade, Zero, and Monster. These are the people who do live the longest. Yeah, it's now she, shocking. Now maybe, she's she's actually, now maybe right. Like, she might yeah, be right. If you're like a fucking tech bro, startup, venture capitalist guy who's worth fucking up $100 million, maybe you'll live to 140. Maybe. We're going to all group suicide us? at some point. <laughs> us? Maybe you? Me and Nick, we're not living to 140. No. I'm not no. living to 40. All my grandmas have lived over 100 and great grandmas. My, on my dad's side, though, which I take most of his traits, they do live pretty long. So, you know, I might, you know, because I had, uh, and apparently my dad just got a physical. Did he? Is he okay? And, you know, because he's like 65. All good? He says, the hun- he's great. Uh, uh, healthy is a, is, a, is a horseshoe, is a whistle. Oh, what thank they God. What do they say? The, I think hel- fit is a fiddle. Hel- fit is a fiddle. <laughs> fit is- Healthy is a horseshoe. What the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does healthy as a fucking horseshoes are when the horse's feet are fucked up. Healthy as a horseshoe. Healthy as a horseshoe. That that should be the title. He's just got to lose a little bit of weight, but apparently he's just doing great. Um, that's good. And he was like pretty much the last few years, kind of like I'm. I'm probably going out soon. Yeah, I love Papa Adams. He's. He, I didn't see my grandfather on, on my dad's side. He lived to be like fucking, I uh, mean, only 84, but he had an accident. He would have lived longer. Yeah. And then grandfather before that, I mean, like 100, 90. There's a lot of, you know, my the mom's genetics. side of the family, yeah. not the best genetics. They lived a little shorter. I just want you guys, the audience, to know that uh, dream guests for this podcast was Stella Berry. Now she's a co host, which is amazing. And then Papa Adams, because he is the greatest yeah. person I've ever... I was just going to ask, when's he coming on? I hope very soon. He'll come on? He said that he would not do this, but I told him he would do it. It'd be fine. I, I... Yeah, what does he have to protect at this point? Nothing. His child's already... He doesn't think that, he doesn't think that people want to hear what he has oh, to no, say. Oh, no, they do. They, no, they can do. Can you guys let us know in the comments if you're still watching? Can you please show some support for his dad? Papa Adams. So that he comes on? Because he, I we don't... just need to show him a couple comments of support. I would put it this way. I would rather have his dad on here than Joe Rogan. Because his dad is so much funnier and better and more based. Joe I Rogan, really he doesn't... I, 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 I want to know I'd rather have you on. Created. I want to know how he was created. Joe, yeah. if you were on the podcast, it would help me and Papa Adams out much more. You need to go on Joe's <laughs> podcast. Fuck you, Joe. Can I you want, guys I start want... sending Joe Rogan uh, DMs to get him on the podcast? Because he's never going to DM him. I want, I, listen, I'm about to have a... Yep. And this is, a, this is the world's largest I, male porn I'm star. About he should to be have, on Joe Rogan. Listen, I'm about to have 11 years clean and sober. Okay? Oh, yeah, that's right. Very soon. And Joe, I would love to come on your podcast or th- and relapse or th- in front of everybody. <laughs> I'd love to smoke DMT on your podcast, Joe Rogan. Would that be relapsing? Please, can you guys all I don't DM? Give a I will harass Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan in the DMs if you guys it's do fine. it too. I want him on there so bad. Or, I will or, get shit faced drunk th- with Joe Rogan on or the podcast. Or Theo Vaughn. Can we Theo, do that? And then, like, get this so the- drunk that I, like, compl- I, like, Try to assault Joe Rogan, and he puts me in a weird BJJ <laughs> fucking thing. Out. Yeah, and like, yeah, it almost kills me. But then maybe, hopefully, we bond over that, and it's okay. And then yeah, Joe's as like, long as "Hey, you man, get you're a bad drunk, bro. You need to not drink. Yeah. <laughs> you're real. I had almost kill you, bro. Yo, you're like, really. And they, fi- they keep filming it on the. We tase you in the heart. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, when he when he drinks, he gets naked and assaults people. Yeah, that's Men, true. Mostly gay. He he does gay assaults. That's why we don't drink anymore because that's frowned upon in society nowadays. Yeah. But yeah, Papa Adams, number one ultimate podcast guest. Uh, fuck every other podcaster. I don't care. Having his dad on here would be such a legendary episode. Yeah, it would be good. Because his dad is just literally the, the quintessential perfect American. And, and, it, and he doesn't get any better. And a, perfect and Americans a loyal, are And a these. loyal viewer, by the way. Yeah, he watches Aww, too. Oh, hi, Papa Adams. We love him. He's very Dad. cool. We went to a, we went to mom a, as well. Probably watching. Hi, his, mom. His mom is also the boss too. She's a businesswoman. I can't believe they watch this. I was surprised as well. I I, I also was. <laughs> Do they was think su- I'm disgusting? No, they like you very much. No, they Are love you. Sure? you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think they didn't. They like. I think they asked if you were coming up. I could bring you up to visit. Are you sure they don't like look at me spreading my butthole and my feet on here and? Think I'm sure gross? Papa Adams has seen that and approves. Yeah, I yeah. want a road trip up to that. <laughs> I'm sure. Let's do it. I'm sure he he sees that and he thinks just like my son. <laughs> <laughs> We're perfect. <laughs> They're great with each other. And then he looks out, sees a raptor. And he's like, good. He's got some Chinese food. And yeah. It's good living. Yeah. So yeah, he's like, this is what it costs. I, I, it's, I'm glad to hear that he got a clean bill of health because we need him to live another hundred years. Yeah. So I would gladly give him a kidney, or even, I give him my heart. I give, if he need a heart transplant, I'd be like, hey, let's let's hook it up. I'm gonna give him grandchildren. So that's good. Yeah, I'm sure he'd, <laughs> he'd be excited about that. Yes. But uh, so compete with that, Nick. I can't. I. <laughs> 
He's gonna love. He's gonna like you way he more. Likes me more. I mean, we can try to make him grandchildren. We can see. Yeah. I don't know if it'll work. Can no. We do that? <laughs> be, can that, we do that? That'd be real bad. It, Let's be a thruple, and we'll combine. They do that now. They can combine your semen in a lab okay, and then but put the, it inside. What happens me? when it gets my genes and the kids like fucked up? No, no, up. it's gonna be both of you combined yeah, into one kid. Yeah, he's got bad. Kid. Not, yeah. He's got bad genes. Kids, no, I don't want. He's that. got bad genes. He can't no. see good. He wants to kill There's himself. There's not much muscle on this body. Yeah, he it's shits tall. himself. I'm, I'm gonna fix that. I'm starting it to go to the gym up. again. He eats two tacos from Taco Bell and can't fucking. Well, we're where we go on walks now because we. Yeah, like council meeting walks. Yeah, okay. yeah. Me and her. You don't like to walk very much. You're invited, but yeah. No, because I. I we go, went on a five and a half mile walk. The my other time's day. valuable. Yeah. Okay, I don't have time to be wandering around so the wilderness. So you look at your watch. There's no watch <laughs> oh, there. You don't have the rolly. My time's valuable. <laughs> What's going on? What are you off today? You're off your game. You don't have the the rolly. Mm. But yeah, no, we we do. You want to flex on us? Bro. We do. He's... We do council meetings now. Me and her. Okay. Yeah. I told. So he's I, gonna get sh- really in shape. Well, I told I told him about it. I said that you're like my new brother. Because I go yeah. for I go yeah. for like runs. Bros. Yeah. Yeah. I go for runs around the neighborhood. Then I. Change clothes and Let's I for drive runs. to the gym and I do that. I'm like a good American person. Yeah. Yeah. Wander around the neighborhoods like some kind of vagrant. <laughs> Have people calling the cops on you probably. No, like, we walk, person wandering we don't around do them for house. exercise. We do them for mental stimulation. Yeah, we walk like we were, we were in South Beach. Sorry, someone has to run this business. <laughs> yeah. I did see, I actually saw a TikTok today saying that like really long walks apparently like do things to your brain that are good. That That's make you so think. shocking. Wow. <laughs> I don't believe it. It's mind blowing. I never could have imagined that. Walking a lot, like yeah, our ancestors did, was yeah. good for us. Walking from village to village, raping and pillaging. <laughs> They're like, hmm, what are we going to do with that this really village? That really sends some, some neurotransmitters off. Yeah. Well, that's how I yeah. fixed a lot of my mental problems, but also created a lot more mental problems by doing a lot of walking. Yeah. So he's going to get in shape. Yeah, I have to. Because I looked, I looked in the mirror this morning. Well, you need to like, represent this company. Yeah. Well, because I look in, the, like, the easiest way to lose weight, quick tip for everyone, is just look in the mirror without your shirt off. Methamphetamine. Well, no, don't. Without that's... your shirt off. Yeah, without your shirt on. Sorry. <laughs> or you might look so bad that with your shirt on, you look bad. But that's what I do. That's how I lose weight is I'll look, just like, so funny. it'll be like 1130 at night and like, we'll have a shoot tomorrow and I'll be like, oh, I want to get Taco Bell. And then if I go in my bathroom and I take my shirt off, <laughs> this is going to get removed from YouTube. This whole thing's going to be. This might, <laughs> this might need to be a Spotify exclusive. <laughs> But uh, and then I'll just look at me without my shirt off, and I'll be like, "Oh, you're the most disgusting creature that's ever lived." Don't yeah. be so hard on yourself. I can't help it. I mean, it's the truth. Body I'm positivity. Just, thank you. See, this is this is why he's my mentor, my boss. Fat my... people are pretty too. I mean, I think which ones? Yeah, which I think not you. No, exactly. That's a that's a good see. <laughs> but I think you know, I think uh, it'll be good for your mental state. Well, because when I was Andrew skinnier, Tate said you shouldn't kill yourself until you have a six pack. <laughs> That's yeah. like unironically like that. good advice, to be honest. It's and you know, facts. I think with Tate is like, there's a lot of stuff where he says is a little ridiculous. And honestly, bro, I wish him the best. He's went through a lot of shit. I don't. I'm tired of hearing about okay. him. Okay, I understand. He looks a little rattled, and I don't think he knows. He, and he's and he's he's had to walk back a lot of. Well, he hasn't had to, but he's walked back a lot of the. Um, you know, qu- <laughs> the 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 based and red pill uh, misogynistic type uh, comments. Which are not really misogynistic. It's just him saying things that are kind of funny and kind of true. A lot Tate, of times. invite me on the yacht. I invite me in the yacht as well. I don't. I, I hope can your pretend yacht, to be a we'll girl. Both suck your I day. hope your yacht sinks and you crash your Bugatti. I'm tired of hearing about Let's you. Let's fuck Tate together. And your weird red. I'd love I to. want to fuck a guy with you so bad. And your weird red pill thing. Red pill things. Yeah. See, I feel like Tate would. It, he got drunk and then like he felt like he could trust you. He'd probably like fuck my mouth a little bit. If you wanted him to. Yeah, if you didn't think you'd put it out there. The way <laughs> not, he walks I'm not is saying, super and gay. Tate, and Tate, I'm not trying to get you. I'm not a big, I'm not no, being the, weird The ultimate men are, are, have gay tendencies. Yeah, it's just. It's, it, the most, it's, like, we're, gay, it's like a strong men wear pink. That's what I said. This, I'm just a Spartan. Just a normal Spartan man. Yeah. Okay? I just believe in heritage, tradition. You're like Aristotle. You fuck your boy slaves. Yeah. Okay, no, he doesn't <laughs> do that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You know, once this gets past an hour, an hour, hour and five minutes, it just be- becomes completely. See, look, I like sitting like this. See, this is this. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm in touch with my uh, the homo things because I'm a, you're sitting cr- like a woman. No, you're, you're cr- just classy and rich. Yeah, you're and cr- I like I like sitting like this because it squishes your, yeah, your junk bowl. together yeah. and it feels kind of good. It does not. I don't like that feeling. It makes me feel weird. I'm going for a little. Oh, I could keep kinda. going like this and <laughs> probably come. This is a, this is such a skit. This is. I like there was a comment on my t- one of my TikToks this morning. I saw I was just like, it's because he's not an alpha, because it was like you're a sigma. Yeah, and I was just like, well, I'm happy to be a beta. Cucklet. I think you. you're a delta. 
like the airline. Yeah. No, I, like legit. I no meme. Delta. Hey, no meme, guys. I I I, I kind of finna be the ultimate sigma male. No meme. I'm just saying. No. If you if legit. you chart it out, if you if you and I'd be the you could make a case sigma that I'm the female. ultimate sigma. Yeah, you would be the ultimate sigma no, female. No homo. Well, the, the only thing is though, you could you could kind of say that I'm not truly as sigma as possible because my whole business rely, like relies on like it involves women. So well, you sigma can, has nothing to do with no, no women though, doesn't it? It's kind of like rejecting the need for women in a way. I feel like that's well, their co-opted definition. I feel of like, it, like real ultimate, sigma ultimate, is, ultimate sigma is like women. Like you maybe have sex with women and women want to fuck you, but you're kind of like riding around your motorcycle. It. Well, you're just an individual <laughs> running. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you're a sigma, then you can't follow. But the that's the kind of sigma thing, path me, other like, than I your have, beta. I have sex with followers. I have sex with tons of women and make tons of money from it. But you're just the most I, genius man on the planet. My opinion of a lot of women is not very high, to be honest with you. <laughs> Cancel women. <laughs> Except Stella Berry. Stella Berry is salute. a gay man. So. I know a lot of great women. Okay. He loves women. I think a lot Maybe. of them are great. I think that there's also a lot of women I don't like, but there's also a lot of men I don't like. Yeah. As a gay man, you respect women quite a lot compared to straight that. men. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Cancel women. Cancel women. Like, who are we talking to recently that was like, does the world really need men? Like, couldn't we function with like 10,000 men or something? And it's like, well, let's flip that around. How many women do we actually need? Well, but see, that's for like, for population purposes, yeah. But infrastructure doing all the jobs, unless you guys get the robot. I mean, once you guys get. Who what, cares if, about if, population? No, but I'm just saying, like, to run everything, you need a lot of men. Yeah, exactly. Until you get like the robots. How many really women working. do you need? Do you need more men than women? Or more yeah. women than men? Oh, you need a lot more women. Because you can't. Men can't get pregnant and have babies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You can't forget about the population thing because... So you're fucked. You gotta the, be... You well, you, life doesn't exist it. without the people fucking and spitting out babies. This is this is like watching two homeless people next to like a burning garbage can debate like what's better, like Marlboro or Camels. Are there more doors or wheels yeah, this is, this is <laughs> in exactly, the world? This is exactly what this is. <laughs> two people whose entire brains have been infected with cum. Trying to have a philosophical no, I'm conversation so horny about and sweaty about men and what's well, that's his favorite thing is sweaty and There's horny. There's lots of mosquitoes out here too. Are there? I don't get. I'm. I, oh, they don't bother me. Look at I got a bite. Oh yeah. I'm just trying to show my feet, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh There's God. Just, there's uh -huh. be a few viewers just edging throughout the whole uh -huh. after the feet. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how she stood, uh -huh. like she sat up and pulled her shirt up uh -huh. a little bit too. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is. They're just using me for views. This is you yes. know. <laughs> Can you guys? When when do I get lo let, let off this balcony? I've been but see, that's the thing. It's just like no, enough with that. That's not true. <laughs> Help! She You're fine. You sit back down. Don't. <laughs> she volunteered. You're gonna move. <laughs> she vo Rich, gra grab the grab the belt. We just like we just like belt her in. You strap her down to the fucking chair. But I just uh, start coming. Wait. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you drank. No, no, monster. I want it. I want it. Do you have her water? This is my my. I drank my first monster today. That's why I've been so. Unhinged. You feel like you're gonna shit your piss yourself? No, yet? I feel so. Actually, yeah, a little bit. See, it's magic. Everything in the red can. It's all the good chemicals they put in there. I'm gonna pee in Daddy's mouth after this. I think you'd like that. This actually, I this might have made me lose brain cells. Oh no, it does. Yeah, I've never <laughs> been dumber. No, 100 percent in yeah. my life. Yeah, no. I drink about. I drank four one or five monster of those and I started hating women. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this, this this podcast is sponsored by Monster <laughs> Energy. <laughs> drink it. Hate women. Oh. <sighs> But, uh, yeah, no, Monster is uh, a terrible drink company. We should do an ASMR podcast. Oh, God. I want to just do one where I, where, I, where I, like, fart into the mic. Why? I don't know, because I, I, so, I hate ASMR so much, dude. Yeah, ASMR is pretty, pretty rough. I got a buddy who's really into it. Yeah, it's rough, man. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like, if you're on, and it's like, to me, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, you know, man, life's short or really long, depending on how you look at it. Like, I, <laughs> Do whatever you want, man, I guess. But so it's like if you're really yeah, into deep, that, man. Really deep in the cushion. I, <laughs> it's super beta, is what you're I saying. I just. <laughs> cry, I don't know, man. Christ. Couldn't you get into something else? Well, yeah. Get into model trains, man. But see, look, you probably like model Already trains and ASMR. I, well, because to me, to me. Hey, no judgment here. It's fine. Well, I'm sorry. Well, because to me. <laughs> I, I retract my statements. Well, because to me. Guys, enjoy yourself. To me, he was just like, it's the only thing I can fall asleep to. And I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" Well, like, the, that's so creepy. Like, I went to I went to dinner with him last night because he's moving away, and he bought a he brought a bunch of like our tech friends, and um, they're all like 
asking me about porn shit because apparently I'm like a fucking circus attraction because I do paperwork with women. Yeah, that's your life now. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's and, welcome to the enjoy. club. <laughs> and, and he's fucking and I'm sitting there. But with what's him. sex like? <laughs> yeah, and I'm fucking I'm sitting there and they're like they're like have you have you met anyone who's famous? And immediately I'm like yeah Stella Barry and they're like oh you're but, trying to blow me up. Yeah, but they don't do they don't like do. What about Lexus, Texas? No, they asked me about like Ca- Sasha Jameson. Gray. No, they asked me about like Cam- Cameron Jane or something. I don't know. Some Cameron weird... Diaz. No, she, I mean, she is kind of a porn star, but no. And then and I'm like, no, I, like I work with like Natasha Nice. She was cool. And one of the dudes was like, oh shit, Natasha Nice. Like he had... and I'm like, oh, Corey Chase. And oh shit. You know what I mean? And then, and then fucking my buddy who's known I've done this job for almost a year is like, have you seen your boss's wiener? And I'm like, yeah, I have. And he's, and he immediately is just like, oh my God, that's so crazy. He's like, you've seen him have sex? I'm like, yeah. You're like, that's the whole job. I'm like, it's the whole fucking gig, bro. And I'm like, well, no, most of the time he does. That's pee- why you get paid the big bucks. Yeah. I'm like, well, most of the, you know, most of the time he's in, he's in the room with the chick and I'm just like, you know, doing other stuff. And they're just like, and then they're trying to convince me to come work back in tech. They're like, hey, man, just come back, come work on AWS with us. Come get back in tech. And I'm like, I'm, I'm good. I like my, I'm happy with my jizz job. He's happy here. I kind of, I kind of, look at him. I kind of just get to do, you know, I don't care if he's happy or not. I, <laughs> I, I kind of want to do his, do his fucking job. Yeah. I kind of just you. get, I kind of just get to do my own, my own stuff. I'm running up, trying to run a business here, please. <laughs> yeah. You know, I kind of just get to do my own shit. You know what I mean? And then and help me with stuff. Yeah, and then I'm like, free. and like now I'm working with, and now I'm doing some charity intern. I'm doing yeah, an now ba- yeah. basically yeah, now paid we, internship for Stella. We've kind of transferred the kind of we've kind of changed the company dynamics. Now we just both work for Stella. Yeah, that's you know. she's she made a strategic acquisition yeah. as a as a hot woman who has got a cool personality. Yeah, and who's a genius and is. Yeah, genius. Yeah, in two weeks she outperforms start us fucking in, shit talking. She outperforms. Me and Nick in every kind of conceivable metric. Literally as as not goes. even true yeah. in any possible way. He he out earns all of us. You guys don't know this, but she has a really big whiteboard in her house and it has all like a but spider see, I don't have, plans. See, the thing is my thing is like I my potential, no potential. for more growth is I'm like at the top. I'm at the end of the road. I'm at the yeah. I'm like kind of tapped You're out. You're at the peak. You have like infinite X. Yeah. You well, know. let's start making that shit happen. That's we're trying, what we're doing. That's why. You're, <laughs> that's why you're on this very successful. Potential doesn't pay my bills. That's very true. That's why you're on this very successful podcast to yeah. try and. It, we got to get. We got to get. Uh, get her a fake uh, 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 evaluation thing, uh, a twenty x evaluation. Yeah, potential. yeah, yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Can we do that? Yeah, of course. I, I, I'm I, worth two billion. No, I talked to my business broker. I can sell your business for four hundred eighty million dollars. Huh. I, it's, low. it's low. I told him it's low. I told him it's low. It's not gonna buy I, mommy I a said, yacht. I said, look, I'll bring it to her. I can't I can't guarantee she's not gonna smack me in the face when she hears this low number. You're lowballing me, Jeff. It's like you want Jeff Bezos's yacht. <laughs> yeah. We process six billion <laughs> like, a if month. I if I can't buy myself a five hundred million dollar yacht, what, I, the, what am I doing, Nick? What am I doing? Nick, do you twenty think million I, short? Nick, do you think I put How am all I supposed the... to pull up next to Bezos at St. Bart's? Exactly. How are we supposed to sail the world in like yacht? four days? Nick, do you think I put all this stuff in my butt for four hundred and eighty million dollars? Do you think that was the goal? <laughs> what kind of cheap whore do you think I am? And I told him, I, I said, I said, La- I world said, domination or nothing, Nick. I said, Larry, she's going to beat the shit out of me when she hears this number. I'm going to come back with a black eye. And he said, look, that's what I can do right now. Let me talk to some of my Middle, my Middle East contacts, see what I can do. So we're working on that. Yeah, if you get that number up, I'll get you a 10K commission. I just want to be a business commission. meeting with like guys like fucking all wearing the fucking Saudi fucking, you know, the gowns and yeah, shit. Yeah, and yeah. Fucking You're like, real here's, what, business we can, here's what we can do. People who are actually successful, please. Yeah. The Saudis <laughs> want to buy just, family they therapy. They us. <laughs> <laughs> They push us all the Burj Khalifa for being infidels. <laughs> well, they probably love you over there. They probably spend bank on your. Yeah, porn. honestly, probably. Yeah. They're probably they're probably big fans. They, they're probably that. the biggest fans of your gay porn career. Yeah, maybe. The well, biggest I, I didn't say that. Yeah, actually, we want your money. We don't think you're gay. Over yeah, there. no one said that. No one. Uh, you heard a uh, ghost say that. Wait, are you one the the one that was teaching me about all this? Yeah, let's not talk about that. Though. Oh, okay. I would like to not get uh, executed by some very nice gentleman. <laughs> Yeah, we want this podcast to thrive. Yeah, and that, the only way it thrives is by having you on it, to be honest. All right, cancel women. We love Saudi Arabia. <laughs> okay, okay. Gays are... Mid. 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 <laughs> so you just said the worst thing possible. You could have said gays are bad. Irrelevant. And yeah, you called them mid, which it's is fine. such an it's insult. It, it's whatever. Being gay is Because cool. you know why? If you're, if you're bad, if you're bad, at least people are still thinking about you. Yeah. If you're mid, no one's thinking about you. 
Can I tell you guys some great advice that actually has to do with this? Yeah, sure. So you know how Bobby Lee has been canceled recently a lot? Has he? I love Bobby Lee. <laughs> uh, isn't it? But I feel like he can't be canceled. No, he's not. But the, but the TikTok girl is going wild against him. Okay. And anyway, he gave me some great advice last night. He's like, you know what's gotten me through this? Being Asian. He said he met with this older lady back in the day. She sat him down and she was like, you know what makes a star? Having half... The people love you and half the people hate you. That's true, yeah. You know? So no, that's, there you go. Well, that's, I, think that's a good, I think that's a good point. Which is basically what, to your point, mid being irrelevant, not people thinking you're just average, it's whatever. No one cares. Is, is, is the worst insult. Yeah. You want to have haters and you want to have lovers. Yeah. Which I think I have. And, so I'm a star. <laughs> no, and, I, and I, would, I would say you are a star. <laughs> and I would also say this podcast is mid. This podcast has no haters. I don't know. Yeah, and some the problem it. is the thing is <laughs> the thing is is you have to you, people have you have to have viewers to have haters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we don't yeah. we don't have that. Yeah. Um, that's but we're why, gonna get them. You know, but there are a lot of comments. A lot of people did like. Thank it. you for loving this, you guys, because we're gonna keep doing it as long as you are in the comments. Yeah, feel free to comment. Uh, if you watch this far, comment your uh, preferred Taco Bell order. Feel free to share this with your parents, your family, your friends, your coworkers. The children. People you love, it's, your children, when, you, when you're at your friends' children. When you're at school, hijack the TV and put this on Please during, do. during religion class. Can somebody analyze this in like some type of weird new age media class in college? Oh, just yeah. To see. Uh, there's going to be a lot. Of, you could write a 100-page essay on what's just been said in this episode. Yeah, just play this for the class. Have a group discussion about it. You know, I think it will come off very strong. I think they'll love us. It's funny because I, like, I, I have no problems with Dave and Pussy. I'll say that. Okay. I think it's pretty good. Okay. You, sir, are a, a, a visionary, a progressive liberal visionary. Yeah. I actually, I have a buddy who I play games with, and he, and he like, he, he was, like, I didn't tell any of my, I didn't tell any of the TeamSpeak boys that I did this. And, of course, somehow they discovered it, and they were like, oh, we didn't know you did this. And they were, wa they were watching one of it, watch one of them, and it was one where you were like, look, I just make videos that help people. <laughs> <laughs> and they were laughing so fucking hard because we were just bitching about how much we hate the podcast. It's and then, true. You do just do a nice service for people. You make them feel good. It's like then, comedians make people laugh. He makes people horny. And then, I, try. And then yeah. I asked my friend, I'm like, well, what do you... I didn't even ask. And he's just like, this is just two people who don't give a fuck about anything or anybody and just want money. Just two narcissistic nut jobs. Yeah. And I'm like, well, look at you on your high horse. Mr. Internet Man. You <laughs> loser. Yeah. yeah that, Brokey. That, that's a... Uh, As Andrew Tate would say, you're broke. That internet gamer person may have some of his own issues. Yeah. That he's struggling with. And I love him. I love him very much. <laughs> and you're very funny. Uh, but, you know... This is like therapy. It's just a couple, of, a couple of nice average Florida men. They were just trying to make a little bit of money for doing nothing. Trying to have a seat at yeah. the table. And having a little bit of fun. Yeah. That's all. Now, we've abandoned any hopes of making money from this. Trying to start a well, cult. Well... New Profit Center, third co-host. Well, we'll see how... It, no, know. this is more so for sanity and enjoyment. And also, I feel like to look back, truly to look back and see how far we've come. To be like, yeah. wow, we that really... Is like, I mean, you said, because, you know, we talked many capsule. times about deleting Everything. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But then just the, to have it to watch... Because I'll watch stuff. Yeah, know, for stuff us. It's, it's fun, you know. Yeah, well, that's what I was telling her. Because I'm like, I hate this. I don't want to do this. I don't want anyone to know I'm even I even exist. But. Yeah, I, that's the thing, too. Is I as well still kind of want to leave. No one cares what you want. I kind of want to leave any kind of, <laughs> any presence of myself off the internet that's not just my penis and POV videos. Yeah. To be honest. Well, that's my ideal thing. I tell everybody, like, I only really enjoy making porn. Like, I love making porn. Porn is so fun. And it's I just have to do the other shit because... That's how you get to make porn. And make now, money. it's the thing though is if if this made you know made us you know a couple million a month, I mean I would love this so much. That would be so. <laughs> if people just threw us money for no value, that would and be so it's awesome. Like, and that's not how the world and then works. And it's like, hey, hey wake yeah. up, Mister Adams. You've been in a coma for six years. I love to you know to make you know I've said this before. Just make a few million from fucking you know beautiful women coming everywhere, helping people, helping people, self help, and then make a few million from uh. Uh, rambling about nothing about houses in Virginia. Yeah, with Miss Stella Berry. Uh, with Stella Berry and, uh, and her you nice know. feet. I just wiggle my toes in the camera for a little couple and, million. And look at if yeah, that would be great too. I have no issues with that. Yeah, but that may be that's proving to be uh, impossible. <laughs> Honestly, money's whatever. Yep, money. We don't give a fuck. Here's my thing about money, right? We don't need it. Mo You're supposed to. They say that you attract what you let go of. Yeah, I, I fuck money. I hate it. <laughs> 
My I don't th- want it around. My thing about <laughs> my thing about money's so stupid. My thing about money. I give it. The, I don't want any of it. My thing about money is. I don't want any money. <laughs> What's your thing about so money? Is working at? <laughs> money is single-handedly the most important thing in this world. <laughs> <laughs> and I think about it every second of every day. Yeah. That's because you don't have any brokey. Yeah, by far, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's, no, that's tr- still true. That when you, see, the thing is, like, when you get in the, the, like, the richer you get, the more you're like, oh, yeah, money fucking does this every single fucking thing. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. When you start only wanting to make more money every month, you start getting brain rot. And it it, do, it so does much. fuck you. It does. I went it into does this job just too. wanting to pay my rent yeah. and having nice life, and I was like, even if I'm fucking homeless, I'll be happy because I love having sex and being weird. And now these two people have just rotted my brain, and all I care about is having a yacht. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mission accomplished. But for real, go team. For real, I'd be completely happy money. with no money. I really would. But what the fuck am I supposed to do until I die? Like, what am I supposed to do? I get so bored. Like. Is, yeah. If you're gonna fuck, you might as well do it on the ultimate level and make money from it. Yeah, well, it's just like that's the thing. It's like having a lot of money, it, it, making money is great because you know there's there's just the freedom to be able to kind of do things, more things you want. Not you have get to, to buy not back your to, time from corporations. Yeah, people. yeah, and I mean, but the thing is too is it's also like early on for me with my business with this, it was just the more money was a mark of I'm doing something right. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like oh, I'm making more money. It's like I'm doing better. I'm doing even better. Like just. The videos I'm making are better. Like, the you know what I mean. Like, so to me, it was just like I'm doing a better and better job, because and the money kind of is a sign of that. Yes. You know what I mean. It's validating. When I have certain periods gotten into just being obsessed with money, which I never was before, I started making a lot. Central crisis, right? Yeah. Then it's like that does suck, and it's it's not, and that's but I still. I hate money. Get it away from me. Exactly. <laughs> we're sure. we're doing. But, we've, we've got lots of things in the work. Yeah, but to make is, money, but also to give us things to do. The, th- the thing is, though, that's like just wanting to, to make money, divorced from like doing stuff that you kind of like genuinely like fuck with or care about is like it sucks and it's way harder to make too. Yeah. So it's like the more that you focus in on like how do I actually like create cool shit in a smart way. That's when like more and more money will come. Yeah, it's like, what would you do even if you were fucking homeless because of it? What would you do even if it was going to ruin your life, and then make money from it? Mom, well, that's not hard for like somebody said on a recent TikTok. Hey, ain't everybody rich off porn, Alex? Yeah, ain't Some everybody people... get to have sex with their little stepsister, make millions, have Lamborghini? Yeah, like nobody does, bro. I had to fucking I had to carve that out of the fucking universe and take it from myself. You got an easy life. I work for waste management. I drive the truck. It picks up the garbage with the little robot hand. Yeah, and I, I'll say, you know, if you've got a smaller... I don't know, bro. There's people in this business, man, with fucking weird four-inch penises that are like 400 pounds, and they're probably making 20K a month. Like you me. made good money when you were 400 pounds and I was still, penis. Yeah, I was still filming. Yeah, I was You like can do anything you believe in, people. Now, yeah, being having a big hog helps, but there's a lot of guys... Hey, there's a... a and, some people might get don't get it twisted. There's a lot of guys out there. I don't know if you realize this or not. They have very huge penises, much bigger than mine, and they make a lot less money than me. Yeah, and they are, a lot of them don't aren't porn stars. Big it's crazy. Penises are so overrated. it's almost kind of having like a nice sized penis is like really a small factor in what made me get to this point. I'm gonna make yeah. a I'm gonna make a statement. Penises are overrated. Cut yours off now. I love cock, but please don't grow it too big. It hurts. <laughs> find, find the nearest sharp implement. And fix the problem. I literally have to film an anal scene soon with a massive dick, and I just wish it was smaller. Oh, I'm getting bricked up. Oh, Ooh, yeah, too. I'm making him train me, like Ooh, literally a, pound me I out every day. Bona. Yeah, no, well, that's. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big well, dicks of Willie Skelly. Yeah, but she's gonna come back, and she's gonna be. You're gonna be size queen. Then. I'm gonna have some. Hemorrhoids. You're gonna like have an outer body experience because this giant oh. penis European man. I'm is gonna... so excited. <laughs> I might never come back. Are you are you gonna get rose? I'm just gonna live in this. I'm just gonna live in this Russian guy's car, and he's gonna that, that works for fucking Vixen, <laughs> and he's just gonna bang me, and like I'm I'm happy with that, Alex. I don't want to yacht anymore. I'm about to be a size queen. I just want to be rose Can I be a size queen life. with your dick? I don't think so. You're like just large average. I mean, size queen would be like massive, right? I mean, true definition, yeah. But it's like mine. <sighs> Is pretty sizable, guys. I, there's controversy hey, bro, around hey, this. Bro, that's not what I. That's not what I. A lot of times, and I go, <gasps> and then he has to pull it out and put it back. That's in. not what yeah. I've seen in the videos, it's that bro. Big. And it's like it's, it's four. It's four max, bro. You capping? Let's compare right now on camera. 
Both of yours. This is very quickly going to... I'd have to find mine. I have to locate it. <laughs> I need a magnifying glass and a, and a treasure map. All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Happy Pride Month. If you made it to the end of this, please comment. I'm so curious to know. Yeah, let, 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 let me... We're like, I really want to know how many people make it to the end. Because for the last 20 minutes, I know we've been talking about nothing. That's been the whole hour and a half. Like I'm if you make it to the very end, comment, I love Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks.